Hi everyone. So I also wanted to share with you my only Christmas advent that I got this year. And this is from Bodies Harmony. Um, I will definitely put in the title like spoilers just like I did for the advent to Halloween samplers that I unboxed. I just, I unboxed them right away. I don't, I just don't have like the... <laughs> I don't know, patience to wait and unbox them the actual day you should. Except with the candy ones, I don't mind waiting for those every day. But like wax ones, or I used to get like planner sticker, like washi tape advents. I just, I just go, I just go wild. I just open them all the day I get it pretty much. Because also I want to see like, maybe I want to melt them before the actual day that I open it. Um... I don't know. I guess that's just an excuse. I just want to see what comes in it. But um, yeah, I had intentions to order a few more. Um, I was interested in potentially doing or getting the Britta's Creepy Treasures winter holiday advent. But I don't know if you guys watched her live video on Facebook. She did have to cancel her box. Um, I was so close to getting Broadway waxes. 25 or I forget if it was 25 or 12 days of um haul or sorry Christmas advent box but I just I kept adding it and then I just never fully checked out I think it is still available if you're interested in purchasing a wax advent I know L3 came out with a wax advent but I just I don't know none of those other ones were screaming to me but I've really been liking Bodies Harmony so I decided you know what the heck I'm just gonna go for Bodies Harmony because I didn't get hers during Halloween time. I I can't even remember if she offered a Halloween one, but I just figured, hey, let me try a different vendor because during Halloween I got the um, Lurid and Villainous Wax advent. So I thought, you know what, I'll give this a new vendor a try. Um, just a few like logistics. So I ordered this on October 18th and this shipped November 16th. It says this um, This is a 25-day winter wonderland advent, um, approximately 28 to 30 ounces of wax, and this advent was $47.99. So this is the, I think this is the most pricey advent I've ordered yet. I think the Halloween ones, I just did 12 days, so those were a little bit cheaper. But um, they were still around that price. I want to say they were around the $40 mark. Um, so yeah, let's just dive in. I think I actually asked her a question on her Instagram post where she announced this. And I was kind of like, just out of curiosity, is there like a theme to the sense? And she said that... Um, she sent, said that this would be kind of a fun variety of scents, your traditional holiday scents like pine, but also bakery, fruity, woodsy, some clean. So it, it kind of sounds like it's kind of a mixture of everything, not just specific to like Christmas time holiday scents, but we will see. So the first thing on top is your invoice. She also has the business card. And this is the back and then there also is a little card I think if you want to gift this to someone because it's just a blank card so that's super sweet um unfortunately these are sold out now but I'm just kind of showing you guys so if you're interested maybe in next year if she has any she had a few overstock but those already sold out she might have a few grab bags left of overstock pours of some of these winter um, scents in here. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Super, super pretty, like, wow. I love that. I don't know, can you guys see like the texture on here? It's like a glittery, um, a glittery snowflake pattern. All right, so I'm definitely saving this. This is pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's really pretty. A nice touch. Um, so let's just start. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't opened anything. So, oh my gosh, she really did it. I think she did say she was going to add a few extras. So right on top here is a little goodie bag. Thank you so much. That is adorable. 
So in here is a goodie bag, just like an extra. I think she might have said there's going to be a few fun extras in here. Um, so she included a um, little hot cocoa pack. Super, super fun. And a few um, little chocolates right here little penguin guys as well as a little candy cane super sweet that is a really fun extra and then there's some really cool i'm not entirely sure what these are but they're super fun it's just like a little styrofoam glittery snowflake um i guess just for i don't know you could decorate with these something maybe i'll set these in like my christmas tree my hands are all glittery. And then I also see this fun little ornament here on top. So this says Winter Wonderland. So that's super cool. It feels like it might be like, if you guys are familiar with like vinyl um, stickers, you can like print it out. Like I have a silhouette machine and you can kind of print out stickers. It almost feels like it's kind of like a vinyl sticker on top with these cool little, um, what are these called? Like styrofoam beads inside. That's so cute. I don't have a whole lot of Christmas ornaments. We, um, yeah, my husband and I have only been our, in our apartment the past two years. So I don't know. We don't have like a whole lot of Christmas ornaments collected yet. So I'll keep that and add that to my tree. And then this is what it looks like on the inside with some um, packing peanuts and all the individual days. I am honestly not sure how long this is going to take me to open this all up. Oh, we have another styrofoam uh, snowflake. That's super cute. Okay. Oh, should I open this first or should I open this last? So this says extra goodies. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that last. I don't know. Okay, hopefully. Okay. So these really aren't in order too much. No, wait, they are. Okay, they are kind of in order. So let's just start. Day one. This is Dressed Like Eskimos, Vanilla Pine Cones, Spiced Honey, and Tonka. And it's really nice. She has the pour dates right on the labels and the scent notes. Perfect. It's a perfect little melt. So this is nice. I would definitely say, I'm not sure if they're all going to be like that, maybe. Although some of them feel bigger than others. But um, I'd say this is definitely a perfect size to just pop in, you know, a single warmer. Mmm, that's really good. Different. I almost thought I smelled a little, like, slight mint scent, but I guess not. Huh. Okay, so I'd say this is more of, like, you know, a Christmas scent. I definitely think it's a creamy scent with a little bit of the pine cone. Maybe the honey is definitely adding, like, a little sweetness there. Huh, that's different. I'm gonna let this cure a little bit. This was poured on 11.11, so it's a little light... But then again, the scent notes are a little light with the vanilla and honey and stuff. But that is really pretty. I'm going to just set like each of these bags down on the floor next to me so I can keep track of what days these were all from. And then at the end, maybe, I know I did this with other advent calendars. Maybe we'll weigh it just to see if it kind of does fall in that, what was it? 20, 28 to 30 ounce range. So this is day two. This is a really nice sized melt. All is calm, all is bright. Christmas cattle, I don't know what that is. Christmas cattle and by the campfire poured 1112. This is a really nice um, sized wax. I'll just compare it to the gingerbread guy. It's a lot thicker as well. I would definitely say you could easily have this be two melts. So it smells more, I don't know what Christmas cattle is. I do get a little bit of that smoky campfire scent. I really do get that. I get it a lot actually. My nose tingled a little, like I actually, I wanted to kind of sneeze or like rub it. So I'm, I'm getting that smoky scent. I don't, I don't know what Christmas cattle is, but I feel like it's a little bit Christmas tree-like with smoke. So that is day two. Again, really nice sized um, wax melt shape. Day three. 
So this is day three. All the packaging looks the same pretty much. Um, slightly different like snowflake snowflake pattern but I'll show it at the end when I kind of like pan over all the 25 days after I've opened everything. S okay this one's super generous. Blanket of snow. It says I smell snow and blue spruce. So I've noticed in some other vendors snow scents. I do feel like it smells a little bit like outdoorsy tree scent. So I think this is going to smell pretty tree like and Christmas tree. And this one is really nice size, two perfect melts to pop in your warmers. Oh yeah, I definitely get like a tree note, not straight Christmas tree. I think this blue spruce adds a little bit more of a Christmas tree note, but the I smell snow smells more like earthy and woodsy, I think. I kind of, how I'm picturing it is there's freshly, you know, fresh snow, um kind of lightly dusted on top of like pine trees or something like that like I smell the tree maybe even like bark or the tree stump it's not just like a pine needle Christmas tree scent definitely more earthy and woodsy so that one was day three so so far definitely keeping on like the Christmas theme this is really fun. Sometimes you never know if you're going to like advents or mystery boxes, but I like getting them every now and again to push me outside of my comfort zone. And I mean, they're just, they're perfect size melts. It's not like you're ending up with a loaf size of something you're not sure if you're going to like. The next one is day four. Again, great, great melts in here. Spark sparkling icicles. Sterling Icicles, which is comprised of Frost Accord, Citron Zest, Mint Leaf, White Amaryllis, Amber Lace, Blue Sage, Sparkling Icicles, Peppermint Shavings, and Winter Musk. So there's a whole lot, a lot of scent notes going on there. So here's what that looks like. Two cute um, little shapes. That's good. I just don't know how I would describe it at all. I guess I would say I'm getting a little bit of a mint scent and just, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it, but it does smell kind of wintry. Not necessarily, I wouldn't necessarily say this is full on like a Christmas scent, but it just smells like a good winter scent is how I would describe that. So far, I'm really honestly impressed with the size of her melts. I'm really happy with them. Okay, day five. This is, it's a winterful life. Scent is snow cake, strawberry pound cake, and marshmallows. I'm all about this one. I love me some strawberry pound cake. So here's what this looks like. This is the wax melt size. This is a really cute like holiday wreath scent uh, shape. And again, this one, you could do it one warmer, but it is pretty big. So I would probably cut this into two and kind of spread it or try to spread it around a little bit more. I like it a lot. I definitely smell the strawberry pound cake have heavy. I'm not sure what snow cake is, but to my nose, just because I, I'm not sure what that scent is, my nose is pinpointing the strawberry pound cake number one. Yeah, and a little bit of marshmallow creaminess. So that one's good. Can never go wrong with strawberry pound cake bakery. Then we have day six, and day six is evergreens full of snow, balsam and cedar, sparkling evergreens, and palo santo. You guys, I am so impressed. Look at everything is so cute, really nice size shapes of everything, or if they are on the smaller side, it looks like she, for the most part, has two shapes then. I'm really impressed so far. So let's see what this one smells like. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely woodsy. I like it. I'm glad I don't have too much of this because it is out of my comfort zone a little. I like balsam and Christmas tree scents. Cedar is a scent that it's not my favorite. Um, and Palo, San Palo Santo is also something that I'm like experimenting with. I don't know if I like it yet. I don't dislike it, but I, it's not my favorite. Yeah, definitely earthy, woodsy, but yeah, excited to try it. 
So that one is evergreen full of snow. So cute. So the next one is day, day seven. I, so far I'm really impressed. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving these shapes. This one is eggnog by the chimney. This is so cute. Um, the scent is eggnog, Danish butter cookies, and salted caramel. I like eggnog. I don't love it. Um, but I feel like these other scent notes hopefully are going to shine through a little bit stronger. So here's this one. How cute is this gingerbread girl shape? I love it. I definitely do get some caramel and some of that cookie scent. Look at how cute she is. You see her cute little bow? This is a great size too. Again, I would say you can definitely cut this into two, maybe even thirds. Oh, everything is so cute, so decorated. I'm really excited. Um, yeah, I like this one a lot. A really good like bakery scent. So that was day seven. Day eight. Oh, we got another another few um, styrofoam pretty snowflake shapes. Day eight also feels like a really big. Oh my gosh, you guys! I'm so happy I got this advent calendar. This is so fun. Sleigh bells ring. This is tis the season and North Pole. Look at this cute christmas present this is such a nice size again i would easily cut this into half you could even honestly cut this present into fourths yeah this is a really great christmasy scent and i think tis the season might be a bath and body works dupe it doesn't say it's a dupe so hers might not be but that just came to mind i do smell like christmas like spices like it's not it's not christmas tree it smells more like a potpourri kind of a scent to me i love this oh let me take out the present for you this is this is so pretty you guys i am really liking this and i also like that it's fun shapes i can't remember if she said it was going to be fun shapes or not but I, I've gotten other like samplers from her and they've been in like scent shot cups. So I'm really happy that they're all fun different shapes. The next one is day nine. And day nine is Mr. Snowman. N morning sea breeze, bergamot, frozen rain, juniper berries, chamomile, I think, white poinsettia, hints of cedar branches, misted misted vanilla and peppermint sticks okay sorry it is a, the scent notes if there's a lot of scent notes the font is a little bit small but i'm not complaining i'm so happy she includes the scent notes so that's mr snowman with two really cute snowman uh shapes with some glitter i definitely do get that light light um um wait does it? Yeah, peppermint sticks. I'm I'm getting a little bit of a of a mint scent. Definitely not nose clearing, but I smell it. Kind of that coolness from the mint. Um, I don't even know how to describe the rest because there's so many scents going on here. But again, like I would just describe this as a really nice like winter scent, which I'm glad because I have so much Christmas scents. I don't know necessarily what I want to do for like the winter season, if you know what I mean, because I'm not going to continue to melt like Christmas tree scents all winter long. That I would describe as just a really nice winter scent. Then we have day 10. Day 10 is eat, drink, and be cozy. Candy cane, cupcake, wild berry mousse, and birthday cake. super cute little two pack of like um bells a bell and something else yeah little bell shapes oh yeah that's really pretty um it definitely smells like a bakery scent it almost reminds me of a cupcakes at tiffany scent i don't really get much candy cane or like a wild berry like a fruity scent at all 
To me, it leans more just um, bakery. Yeah, I like it though. I can't go wrong with bakery. All right, day um, 11. This is really fun. I almost wish maybe I held back and did a scent a day, but now I can kind of choose what days I want to melt what. Um, but yeah, this is really fun. Um, Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland and Sweater Weather. Um, so this is two cute shapes. These are both different. I think one's a... Or are they both... Are they both just different, like, cute penguin shapes, I think? Um, so here's what they look like. So I really like this. Like, if the shapes are on the smaller side, she gave two, which I really appreciate. Yeah, this smells really good. Again, I think this is a really good just winter scent or like fall transition to winter because of that sweater weather plus like the winter wonderland. I don't know what winter wonderland is supposed to smell like. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a Christmas tree note. I don't know. It's hard to pinpoint. But this smells like a really great like winter holiday kind of a scent. So that was day 11. Day 12. We have Silent Night, Roasted Pine Cones, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Vanilla Bean Noel. Two cute Christmas tree scent, uh, shapes. Oh yeah, wow. Roasted Pine Cones, that's interesting. I'm really not much of like an earthy, woody scent person. I'm pretty sure I'm getting the roasted pine cones, maybe that sandalwood patchouli. This one's not my favorite, but it'll definitely push me out of my comfort zone when I do go to warm this. But if you like that earthy woody, you'd love that one. Day 13. I hope I'm not going through this too slow. Um, day 13 is leave a little sparkle wherever you go. This says champagne pear. So these ones are definitely little shapes. Um, I would even probably do both of these little like holly or like mistletoe scent um, shapes. I'd probably do those together because it, it is pretty small. Maybe I'd spread it, spread it around warmers, but it's not. I Usually I would, would use more wax than that personally. Do I have enough lighting? Is it getting too dark? Hopefully not. Oh, that is really pretty. That is really pretty. Is this like a Bath and Body Works dupe or no? I like that a lot. That is really pretty. So that's Champagne Pear. A good, nice, fruity, bright, but still somewhat reminds me more of Christmas, winter than like summer. All right, day 14. Should I? I'm going to pause really quick and turn on a few more lights. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Hopefully that uh, made it a little bit more bright. I just feel like the sun is definitely going down now. Um, all right, so let's move on. We did day 13. So day 14. Day 14 is The Snuggle is Real. Buttermints, lavender, twisted peppermint, and pink sugar. This is a me kind of a scent. The Snuggle is Real. Two cute little shapes there. It looks like maybe a little snowflake and a teddy bear. The snowflake is pretty small. Here's that snowflake shape. Oh, this is so good. I love it. I love it a lot. I actually do smell the buttermints pretty heavily. Buttermints and pink sugar. That is exactly what it smells like. Lavender, I don't get too much. Twisted peppermint. Maybe it's just mixing in with the buttermint, but definitely a really pretty pink sugar mint scent. The snuggle is real. That is a really good one. All right, day 15. Day 15 is glistening snow, snowflakes and cashmere, buttercream and sugar cookies. This one also sounds really good. Two nice size snowflake shapes. This actually smells really body care like. I wonder if it's because of like that cashmere. Again, I'm not sure what snowflakes is, but it's it's leaning more body care than bakery to me. 
that is pretty i can't wait to warm this this will probably be a bathroom scent just because like i said it's leaning more body care like um day 16 this one feels like a big shape oh my gosh this is so cute i'm gonna have to take it out of the bag this is baby it's cold outside downy april fresh and mulberries i don't know if i've smelled mulberries before that's what this one looks like look at that cute like reindeer or moose shape so cute this is really good it actually reminds me of like a candy or something this is so cute i love him really nice sized reindeer easily could cut it into thirds i'd say that is good laundry is definitely not overpowering i know sometimes i feel like laundry can take over a blend Bodies Harmony does laundry scents really good. You smell the laundry, but you don't just get that. Definitely smell something fruity, which is the mulberries, and I really like it. It's, something about it smells familiar, but I can't like pinpoint where I've smelled it before. That is really yummy. It smells really good. It almost smells just a little cherry-like, but it's it's different too. All right, day 17. Kind of ripped this bag. Um, breathing in snowflakes, sugar plum and mac apple, two cute snowman heads. Yeah, this is a really good, like, yeah, I guess sugared plum. Yeah, sugar plum mac apple. I get a little bit of both. Um, that's the little snowman head. This is really good. Actually, now that I'm smelling it more, I do think I'm getting more of the Mac Apple. Um, but really, really nice. Day 18. We have really nice size shapes here. Hot cocoa and my cozy mittens. Cozy flannel and hot cocoa. And we've got really nice size cubes here with really pretty snowflake detail. I'm not really getting much of the cozy flannel. Definitely the hot cocoa is um, the strongest note here. And it is leaning Tootsie Roll to me, but I, you know what? I am a fan of hot, um, chocolate wax. So I personally like it, but if chocolate wax, um, if you're sensitive to chocolate wax, the chocolate is heavy in that one. Day 19, this one feels kind of small, let's see. Um, this is Snow Angels, Beautiful Day Warm Vanilla Sugar. That sounds really lovely. Two kind of um, little Christmas tree shapes right here. Oh, wait. One's a Christmas tree. One's like a, a gnome, I think. Ooh, jumped out of my hands. That's nice. Um, something about it smells a little off, though. Like, it's pretty but then there's something in there that I don't know if it's blending well like I feel like the beautiful day is such a bright kind of fruity more kind of a scent but then warm vanilla sugar is just a little bit like deeper richer a nice like obviously like warm sugar scent so I feel like they're kind of opposite like you smell both but I don't know if it meshes well together I don't know we'll have to see how that does on warm so that was day 19. Day 20 is um, Love at Frost Sight, Mandarin Cranberry. And this one's super pretty. Again, really nice sized um, melt for two warmers and a nice big snowflake sequin. Oh, that's really pretty. Mandarin Cranberry. This would be a great body care scent. That is really pretty. I love it. This is a perfect like winter fruit. Like cranberry screams winter to me. Um, so that's really pretty. All right, we're wrapping it up here. We have day 21. You guys, so far I'm super impressed. I really like this advent. I, I feel like I like it out of any of the advents I've gotten so far, like from the wax vendor world. It's just really fun. I love all the fun shapes.
yeah again I'll kind of pan over everything that I have like laid out next to me um but yeah this one is I love you I love you snow much reindeer poo and sprinkles what is reindeer poo is that like a chocolate scent I don't know really cute um Santa shape I have no idea what this is sprinkles this is really hard to, to describe, but I feel like it's fruity. This is what this guy looks like. I think you could cut that into two. It's so hard to describe scents if you don't have like the exact scent notes. I mean, I know the scent notes say reindeer poo and sprinkles, but that's not that descriptive. I don't know. If I had to guess, it smells kind of fruity, but it does smell like a nice like winter fruit. Um, so that was day 21. Day 22, we have Cozy Cottage, it's Celtic or Celtic Moon Spice. These ones are pretty small pieces. Again, I would like borderline use both of them in one warmer, but if you want to split it up, you could. So this is what this looks like. I don't know what this is going to smell like. Kind of just giving me like a red hot cinnamon vibe, like a hot tamale candy. I like it actually. I like cinnamon scents, so I like that one. Then we have day 23. This is Tis the Season to be Freezing. That is so funny. I was so close to buying a, another kind of Christmas wintry shirt on Etsy. Etsy is re really a great place if you want some cute, unique, or like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like kind of cheesy, like holiday kind of shirts or slogans or whatever, but like I live for that kind of stuff. Um, I almost got a shirt that says, tis the season to be freezing. I mean, I live in Minnesota. I don't know. I still might get it. But anyway, tis the season to be freezing. This is Rustic Lodge Twigs and Berries, I believe. And then these are just really cute, like, ornament. Is that an ornament? Or, I guess, Christmas bulb and a um, candy cane. Um, Rustic Lodge Twigs and Berries. Yeah, I guess that's how I would describe it. It does smell kind of woodsy, but I get a little bit of a brightness from a fruit. Yeah, I like that. Definitely reminds me of like the holiday time or winter time. Day 24, we have Dream by the Fire, Marshmallow Fireside, White Birch, and Cashmere Cedar. And then we have some nice shapes here, some moons and stars. That's nice. Again, I'm I'm definitely smelling something kind of woodsy, which I think is the white birch. My nose doesn't love white birch. It definitely is a little bit earthy, woodsy to me. Um, I think that's what I'm pinpointing the most. I do, if you like fireside kind of smoky scents, I feel like they do it really well because a lot of vendors, I don't really smell much smokiness, which I'm not mad about because it's not my favorite scent note. I do get the fireside scent in her sense. Okay, so yeah, a smoky kind of wood scent. And then day 25. Merry Christmas. This is Sparkle and Shine. And this says a classic holiday blend of evergreen trees, warm exotic spices, and sweet vanilla. And we've got a nice Christmas bulb here. I don't know if you can read that. It's a little bit of a light, um, it's like a white font right there. So, all right, let's see what this smells like. This is really nice. A really nice, like classic Christmas scent. I can see why this is day 25. Like it just, smelling this, this smells like Christmas. You get a little bit of like a Christmas tree note, but you also get kind of that potpourri, the Christmas spices, the Christmas fruits kind of a scent. That's beautiful. I love it. All right, so you guys, that was the advent. We have one extra, let's see. Yes, we have an extra goodies bag. So let's open this up. Oh, wow. 
so she includes a full size scent shot which this is actually even bigger than she included in her other samplers. Those I think were one ounce scent shots. This one says it's a two ounce scent shot. And this is Cookies and More. Oh, cool. I'm super excited. This says it's a scoopable wax. So this is a scoopable in Sugar Cookie Royale, Pumpkin Sugar Donut, and Sugar Cookie Dough. This is a me scent. It honestly, it feels really hard. Is it really a scoopable? Oh, yeah, it is. Definitely a scoopable because I kind of like pinched it a little bit. This is wonderful. I love bakery scents. This is definitely a heavy bakery scent with that sugar cookie royale, sugar cookie dough, sugar donut. This is wonderful. And this is a scoopable, so you can for sure use this at least twice, maybe even three times. That is super, super exciting. She definitely didn't need to include that extra, but I am so excited that she did. That was so generous of her. And she included the fun extras like the styrofoam snowflakes and the little ornament, as well as the hot cocoa and the candy. So this advent really, really impressed me. I, uh, off of like cold sniff first impressions, first impressions opening it, like this is my hands down favorite advent I have ever gotten so far and I have like I have very high hopes I guess that these are all going to warm really well because I've had other bodies harmony wax melts and they've all done wonderful for me so yeah you guys I'm going to be right back I'm going to number all of these um individual bags just because they don't say the date on them so I want to just write the day on them really quick and then I'll do kind of a pan of everything that came in the advent. So I'll be right back. Hi Mochi! Hi sleepy Mochi! All right you guys are you ready to see it all panned out? So here it all is. Sorry for the audio. I know it's going to be a little different from how it sounds when it's like face towards me but I just wanted to pan, pan over everything. So here's day one through 10. Again, sorry if my hands are kind of shaky. I'm just holding this over everything. Really nice size shapes and everything. Here's day 11 through 20. Really fun. You can see kind of like the fun designs on each day. Um, it's all kind of like a blue and um, white theme, but they're all kind of different snowflake backgrounds. And then here's day 21 through 25, along with some of the fun extras that were included. So we have the scoopable, the hot cocoa, the little card if you want to gift that to someone, the ornament, some candy, some of these like fun little like decorative. Um, these are just kind of like little styrofoam snowflakes that you could easily either have, you know, um, I feel like this could be like a fun like backdrop or like little extra in like a photo if you're taking like a picture of your wax melts or I might just like set these in my tree. Um, and then there's like the fun little sparkly um, fabric that came in it as well. So you guys, I'm really impressed with everything that came in this advent. I think it's really well put together. Everything is really unique and different. Um, to me, I think it's very on theme for like the winter wonderland um, kind of Christmassy winter theme. Um, so yeah, I really like it. As you can see, I kind of put the little number. Um, I wrote everything, all the numbers on them just because I want to remember what today they came um, they came on. And then yeah, I have my scale here. So I thought we could weigh this just like we did with the other advents. So I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to put all these in this bin and then we'll weigh it together. All right. So I have the scale here and I have everything 1 through 25 in here as well as the little scoopable extra because I just counted everything, every wax item. I didn't add like the candy or anything, just the wax items. So here's the scale. This is the exact same bin as this one. So I figure we can use that to calibrate it. So I, I'll just show you. See, these are the same bins. Um, just wanted to show you guys that. 
So let's calibrate this. Sorry for the light glare. I just wanna, oops, it's hard to do that through my phone. I just wanna make sure I'm lining it up right. Okay. So this, I'm just trying to line it up. I don't know if you can see like grooves right there on the corners. I'm just trying to line that up so none of the grooves are off of the scale. So it's 9.3. So let's zero it out. Oh, what did I just do? Zero. So we have the pounds. Okay. So this should be zeroed out. So now it'll sub subtract the weight of the bin. And let's put on this bin. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh, okay. All right, it seems even. So it is one pound and 14 ounces. So um, just as a reminder, the, bo the box itself said that it would be between 28 and 30 ounces. So one pound is 16 ounces. So um, 16 plus 14. Um, that would be 30, right? 30 ounces exactly. Um, so wow. Yeah, this is definitely within like the weight that it should be. Um, I'm super excited. I definitely love everything. Um, all the shapes, the aesthetic. I mean, obviously off of cold sniff, I don't love every single scent. Not every scent can be your favorite, right? But I'm very impressed with like the packaging of everything. She took the time to do like all these different fun shapes, decorate them, decorate with them with glitter, multiple colors. She added in fun extras, not just wax, like super fun. All right, I just wanted to kind of wrap up the video face to face again. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the unboxing of Bodies Harmony's Winter Wonderland 25 day advent calendar. Off the bat, I'm super impressed. I love all the cute shapes she included. I love that if the majority of the shapes were a little bit on the smaller side, she included two or multiple, not just one tiny shape. Um, I love the variety of different scents. Um, they all seem pretty on theme with kind of the winter wonderland, kind of more wintry scents. So I really enjoy that. Um, I thought the extras were super fun for her to include. Um, I, you know what? I do. I totally think this is worth the price. I really am impressed. Um, so yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are from this unboxing. Let me know if you guys picked up any other winter holiday advents. I'm definitely curious to know what other vendors um, included in their advents, how it kind of compares, uh, maybe the price range and the ounce size that compares with the other vendors out there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.